Yes, sir. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Episode 44. So right now, it's actually Saturday evening. I just finished editing the video that goes up tomorrow, Sunday, the last video you guys saw. It's almost 10 p.m. and we're just gonna knock out this second coat so tomorrow we can go ahead and get that third coat on and just finish these walls off early, early in the week and uh, get going on everything else. Second coat is done. I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Happy Monday, we're back in action. The walls, they're done. That being done, I'm gonna go out. My brother is gonna be helping me this afternoon. We're gonna be starting on the electrical. I mentioned it in last week's video, I hate clutter. And as you guys can tell, we have a lot of clutter to work through. So because we're starting the electrical this week with my brother, I gotta clean this out. <laughs> Look at, look at the floor, man. Oh, it's a big day for the bus today. We got the batteries here. These are some heavy duty batteries. We have three of them. They're like 130 pounds a piece. <laughs> it's a lot of weight. Heck yeah. Woo! box in a box, man. Just a box in a box. So we have 600 amp hours of battery. Oh my God, these things are a lot bigger than I thought they were. And then I got uh, four 175 watt flexible solar panels, also from Renogy. <laughs> Dang, that's a heavy battery. Let's get that last battery over here Whew, before I die. Probably gonna be a lot easier. Should have done this the first time. Nice. Oh yeah, dude. So much easier. What the heck? <laughs> that is all three of my batteries. The brain, the powerhouse of this bus. I need to get my two divider walls in. I need to get my wiring chase that I built screwed in in order to really get the electrical done done. Made it back inside to work on the wallpaper, which is gonna be uh, different. I've never wallpapered anything in my life. First for everything, I guess, right? Going to bring this up above like this. So we're gonna waste that little rectangle, or <laughs> rectangle. I swear I went, I, I did geometry. I know my shapes, I'm not that dumb this triangle <laughs> we're gonna cut right here stick that on and match this up with the next set and go up and do the exact same thing there boom we got the first half done that looks really awesome Hey guys, I got it done. Wow. All right. Well, we are headed to Lowe's with a big, fat, 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 did I say fat, <laughs> list of electrical stuff to get. All right, so like an hour or so at Lowe's. They didn't have quite everything, so now I have to run to Home Depot and get a couple more things. My bank account is not 
excited right now. I'm gonna take this out. I have to router out some vents for the fridge, sand it out, put the wall in, and get that stuff in place so he can work on the electrical. So my night is ending here. My brother is gonna finish up a little bit more work in here. He's gonna get the boxes and a few boxes, breaker boxes in here and run a wire back to front. But like I said, my job out here is done. So I'm just gonna go ahead, throw the camera on the tripod, give you guys a little time lapse and I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. It's thir Wednesday, not Thursday. It's Thursday or what? God, it's Wednesday. <laughs> And yesterday I filmed the fear video that you guys might have seen. I uploaded it on Wednesday. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. I talked a lot about some things that I'm going through and just letting you guys know that you know, you're not alone in fear in whatever it might be that you're struggling with right now. But we're back outside to the build and uh, my brother has been working away a bit and has made some progress on the electrical. So, my brother here has been working away on some of the electrical over the past couple of a couple of evenings and uh, this is what we got going on right now we got this in the wall so I'm gonna have to build the wall out just a little bit to make sure you know that all of this get that all of this gets covered up this is all high voltage stuff so we have our wiring ducts in place that's a new change that you guys haven't seen so they're gonna get built up as well there's gonna be a face that goes up and over to here so obviously this wire won't even be visible at all but we have wire going all the way down because we fished this thing through here and into here well he fished that thing through into here because i'm putting an outlet right here one outlet here and one outlet back at the bed and those are all going to be the 120s and then we're also doing 12 volt down at the bed and we might do something up in that area as well for that and then when it's done obviously i'll show you guys like the final product but i'm just going to have him give like a brief overview because i have no idea what i'm talking about when it comes to electrical stuff like i, I here we have our short power cut out and we're going to run the cable across that's going to go into our transfer switch along with the cable coming in from the inverter which will be attached to the batteries that's what this box down here is for that's the main box that feeds for the inverter. Here's our main electrical box. That's gonna have all the breakers in for all the high voltage stuff. The outlets, refrigerator. Um, I think we have to put one in for the heater for the engine yet. It's also going to be powering our control panel and our DC converter, which uh, we currently have sitting in the cabinet over here. That DC converter is what's gonna take power when it's on shore power to power up all the 12 volt low voltage stuff. Uh, that'll all be fused. Uh, when it's on the battery, that all those um, relays in there will automatically take care of switching all the 12 voltage components from the high voltage power source to the battery source. Uh, you don't want to waste energy constantly converting from high voltage to low voltage. Um, essentially, it wouldn't make sense to go from a battery to an inverter back to the voltage of the battery. Uh, we have an inverter in a box, which I haven't unpacked yet. Uh, we're also, if we have time um, in our schedule, there will be a power line is going to be a run from the engine underneath the bus uh, which will go through a relay to prevent the two batteries from um, basically a battery isolator uh, that way when matt's driving the bus will be charging the batteries as well as the solar. that way you don't have to rely only solely on the solar because you know it's not going to be sunny all the time so while he continues to truck away on the electrical stuff i honestly can't really be too much of a help to him he knows what he's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. There's nothing that I can really do, so. It's a 
bit later in the day, later in the afternoon, but I have to run back to Home Depot real quick, get a little bit more plywood and some screws. And the plan for today is to fill in, sand out and fill in the cracks of the countertops and then put the shore power thingy in on the side of the bus. So I have to screw that thing into place. And I'm gonna try and get the wall next to the, uh, for the outside of the bathroom completed. That way I can put the cabinets in place, get those all screwed in. And then, yeah, man, it's gonna start really transforming. I think the wallpaper is coming today as well, a day earlier than originally expected. So that's really nice. All right, we got what we need. Time to head back home and get this transformation rolling. Easy, easy cake work, fits like a glove. All right, cool, so that is one task done for the day. I'm gonna move on to the countertops now. I just realized I never turned my microphone on, so I don't know if those clips had any audio at all, but check it out. Got the wood filler on my countertops, both of them. That's one more thing checked off the list for the day. We're gonna move on to that wall right in here, that wall there. In order to fit the curve, I'm gonna use this upper cabinet that I have um, to kind of use as my template. <laughs> If you guys have been watching these videos for a while, you guys know that uh, I have the hardest time with these templates on the curve. I would really like to try to get it correct, because if I can, that would be amazing. And then I'll just have one more strip to do. Boom, that's like pretty perfect. Right here, I cut a little bit too much off, but otherwise, Check that out, boom. So I'm gonna be able to get those cabinets out. The wallpaper should be coming later to get this wall done. And my brother's back out here working on more electrical stuff. We got our first outlet in, check that out. That's insane, absolutely immaculate. The next thing checked off the list for the day, on to the next. Finally time to get this hard work in place. Wow, we have it in. Woo. That looks insanely good. Bunch of weight on there, doesn't even budge an inch, dude. What do you guys think? I think I nailed this one way more than the first one. Check that out. That looks so, so good. I absolutely love these walls. Check this out. Clears perfectly. Clears perfectly. Breakers, relay. What's that? That's our panel for the inverter. Panel for the inverter. We got our transfer switch in and other things. This is the splice for the transfer switch and this is the splice to the relay panel. We still have one cable to run it across the floor. In the next few weeks, He's got his own life, obviously, so he's got things to do, but in the next few weeks, we're gonna find time to get this done and then get the uh, low voltage stuff done so the electrical can be like pretty much on its way and moving so we can do the plumbing, I can build the bed, I can finish the bathroom, get this thing on the road. There you guys have it. Let's 
So yeah, with that, uh, that's gonna be a wrap on this week's video. I'm so happy with the progress we made this week. Everything looks absolutely phenomenal. Like, I, I'm honestly kinda at a loss for words. Like, it just looks so good. And I'm, I can start visualizing everything now and it, it's gonna be amazing when this is done. I can't wait. Leave a like on this video. Let's get these videos more discovered because pretty soon we're gonna be out on the road traveling and doing a lot crazier fun things. So leave a like on the video, drop a comment, and without further ado, I'll see you next week. Peace.